What's good YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Today we're gonna be doing a reaction video. Some dear and and near to my heart. We're gonna be reacting to Turks and Caicos. That's where I'm from. All right. Ten shocking tourists. Tourists? Uh, what? Ten shocks tourists have when they come visit TCI. All right. So I saw this video online. They given. Listen to this now. A person, a tourist, is telling tourists what to expect, all right? So I said to myself, okay, you know what, let me react to it and see, okay, he, what is he telling the truth and what is not true? So basically, I'm going to give you a little tips and tricks how to make your, your, your vacation here in Turks and Caicos Islands cheaper and, 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 and more extravagant, you know what I mean? That's what you can do, but if you guys are new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below, alright? Just letting you know I was born, raised, still live in the Turks and Caicos Islands for 20 years. So let's just let, let just, just listen to me. You listen to me, you can be straight, alright? Let's see what he's talking about. Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Turks and Caicos in Grace Bay. Alright, he done gone wrong. The word is Turks and Caicos. Not Caicos. We, we don't pronounce it as Caicos. Caicos Islands. Not Caicos. Caicos. Get it right. And today what we have for you are 10 things that shock tourists when they come here to Turks and Caicos. And you can't Caicos. how many great shocks there are here from the turquoise water to the people to the food. There's all kinds of great stuff. But Big you facts. gotta start with the Big first facts. conch. The first conch? Yes, yeah, the first conch. The first shock when you come here is how much conch will play a role in your visit to Turks and Caicos. I mean, conch, you're not sure what conch is. You know those really cool shells you see all over the place and they'll sell them all over the island here and it'll be in all the menus you're gonna have here? Conch, conch, and more conch. And also the number of conch puns you'll actually hear. It's, it's unconscionable that I can't make more conch puns when I do do that. Nigga, snap line. We do not sit. Listen. We do not listen. I have never heard anybody say, "Hey, God, it's comfortable." Nigga, stop lying. Ain't nobody here say that. All right, nobody here says that. All right, comfortable? No, no, that, that don't even sound right. No, people don't use that word. You'll get laughed at. Trust me, they'll laugh at you in your face. But the thing is, the shock about all the conch stuff is you could actually go dive for your own conch shell and it Big pays you get your own souvenir and your own dinner because it is that cool to do. So you might go down, snorkel down, you know, maybe 10, 15 feet, go snorkel down, grab one. It looks like a dirty rock and you get off and they clean it off and you're like, oh my god, this is gorgeous. But the thing that'll shock you again with that conch is not just you can dive for it, but when they go down and they you get it and then they clean it out for you and they'll crack it and they'll this thing. Okay, let me pause right there. People. Do not listen to this man with that pot. Do not go diving for any conch by yourself or your loved one. Go to a local company and charter, uh, what's a boat? Charter, go to a company, let them, a professional diver come with you. Don't just go inside there. I'm gonna go dive. No, bad idea. Don't do that, don't do that. Don't do that. Stay on shore. All right, that's my advice. I don't care how strong of a swimmer you are, or you think you are, stay on shore. And if you want to go far in the ocean, book with a company here. Will come out the lowest actual conch part that you need. They'll take it out and they'll clean it for you. And you, they'll pull out this like clear greenish like little thing. Like here, you want to eat this? Most you're like, no, no. It's like no, it's an aphrodisiac. You should have it. Ew, so bro. You eat that, and they're like, you're gonna have a good time tonight, guys. Ha 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 ha. But it's so funny how much con. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me explain to you what he's talking about, right? I, I forgot what's the word. Is it Lamy? I think I think it's a call. But anyway, fellas, eat that. Fellas, eat that. Hey, hey, ladies, you can be happy your husband eat that, eh? All right, that's that's what we call it a natural Viagra. You will see when you are here. And the thing is, you will eat a lot of it, whether it is you know crack conch or conch fritters if or you want you know, conch patties or conch salad or conch ceviche. I mean, it's just such a, a big, big part of the, the country <laughs> and the culture here that you'll be shocked at how much conch there really is. I mean, it's even on the flag when you're here. So that's big the facts. first thing: how much conch you can do when you are here. Now, the second thing that shocks tourists when they come here is there really isn't anything else to do except the beach 
here in Turks and Caicos. I mean, a lot of people, when they go to different countries, they're like, oh, I want to hit up some of the museums, I've been to some culture sites, and then I'll hit the beach or some activities or some things. No, not here. This is a beach, relax, repeat kind of place. So stop trying to play us now. People, there are museums you could visit. I don't mind him. He, listen, I got to remember, the Turks and Caicos Islands is is like the Florida Keys, that's for example, right? Each little key, each is one, is Florida Key? I don't know, if that's, I, I, I think that's a bad example. It's like the Bahamas, one big island, well, well not one big, they're a bunch of little islands, right? All right, he's talking about everything, I watched the video already. He's talking about Provo, right? You gotta remember, if you're a tourist, right, you're only going to Provo. You can go to South Caicos, you can go to Middle Caicos, you can go to North Caicos, you can go to Soul Key, you can go to Grand Turk, all right? You can go to different islands, and each island has something historical on it. All right, it's a little, of course, it can be a little more pricey, you know what I mean? But there's more to do besides just the beach. Well, the beach is like 90, 90%, all right? I cap it that part, it'd be about 90%. You know, and you can go to, yeah, 90%. <laughs> if you're looking for a lot of hustle bustle, doing lots of different things, aside from the beach, you're going to be kind of shocked that there's not much else than that, okay? And yeah, that means the third thing is going to shock you is that, hey, there's nothing else to do aside go to the beach. I mean, the beach and all the water stuff, it's yeah. just amazing. Like, yeah. look at this turquoise water. It's yeah. gorgeous. Watching the sunset on it. It's gorgeous. You want to do stuff out here. Maybe you want to go snorkeling. They have one of the biggest barrier reefs in the world here. You can go snorkeling there. You can go scuba diving. You go to the coral in the coral gardens to see the fish there. I mean, right out here where those people are there, we go out there. There's fish swimming around. I mean, it's just really amazing when you're here. And there's other things you can do. There's parasailing. There's fishing. There's all kinds of cool water-based stuff. So if you want a Beach, relax, repeat vacation. This place is shockingly perfect just for you. And the fourth thing that shocks some tourists when they come here is actually when you're on the beach, sometimes you actually get to see some of the dolphins, but there's one specific dolphin that the locals love more than all the other dolphins, and that's Jojo. I mean, he gets his own postcard. Yeah. And he, he's gotten kind of lazy over the years, but you'll see him sometimes swim around and stuff like that. So that's a nice little shot. I'm gonna tell you about Jojo. When I was younger, right, you couldn't tell me Jojo the dolphin wasn't like, a superhero, I promise y'all. In my head, Children the Dolphin was a superhero, you know? Y'all remember the episode of Finding Nemo, The Big Shots, right? I, I, I thought, remember the episode was like, fish are not food, they, wait up. fish are friends, they're not food. You remember that one? I swear in my head, Jojo used to fight dumb shots, I promise you. Oh, I can see some other like, Bigger things aside from little fish? Yeah, yeah, you can. And I guess that should lead into our next shot when we're here. Is actually, you also see these things called pot cakes. And they're not a thing, they're just the stray dogs that are here. The thing is though, you won't see them so much if you're at a resort beach and stuff like that, because they kind of shoot them away. But if you're like at the, the, the Kong Shack and down there, you'll see a lot of these dogs walking on the beach. And you might be shocked that if you fall in love with one, there's actually an organization here that will help you figure out how to take that dog back home. And what's cool, if you want to volunteer for the pot cakes, there's actually programs here where you can go walk the dogs, you can go bathe the dogs. Heck, you can take them to the beach. It's kind of shocking. If, if you're missing, I mean, I'm missing my brig back home. I know Jocelyn is as well. We went in and played with their puppies and did some stuff with the dogs on the beaches and stuff like that. You can actually do that, which is kind of shocking. You're like, oh, I can get my dog fixed as well. So I guess there is more than the beach. There's the beach stuff and then your dog fixed. We got that. You still trying to play us now. Now. Tourists when play come it. here is actually the sticker shock. I'm not gonna lie to you, Turks and Caicos is not a cheap place to come. The restaurants, the grocery store, the... Well, what do you think this is? Huh? Big money around here, boy. You know, it's not a joke. I joke man. Accommodation, the tours. Oh, I'm no, man. He trying to expose us now. He ain't put the price out. Oh, God. All right, let me explain this to you. Just like anywhere around the world, you have your expensive places. By the look at that price, I don't even gonna see nothing else. I can tell you already, I know the story. I ain't looking at nothing, all I see is the price, and I know already. And I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I am looking at nothing else. He's at, uh, I don't wanna say no names. Fuck it, I'm gonna say. He's at a branch called IGA Gourmet, all right? I'm not saying IGA is a bad brand, that's like one of the biggest brands we have on island, but, 
locals, we shop at the smart location, which is downtown. You have to pass it to go to wherever you gotta go for sure. And we shop at the IJ on the highway. That's like the grand, the biggest one we have, the main branch. We shop at there. We don't go shopping with, basically the, the tourists have their own IJ, right? So, we don't shop there. So what, what I can advise people to do when you come to a hotel, I have friends who work at concierge. So what they would do like, say for example, if a, if a guest would be like, hey, I want to shop where you shop at. So basically if you get cool, with a, get cool with them, a concierge person, and be like, hey, when you get some time, you can take me to the grocery store where you shop at. All right, don't go in no random place shopping by yourself. Don't do that. I tell you, ask them, tell them take you. All right, so maybe on the, if they, remember they don't have to do it if they don't want to on their own time they be like hey if you want can you help me when you off or whatever they'll a lot of them offer that service you know just for being nice you know so you could do that and you can get a cheaper price don't <laughs> I am glad I never pay seven dollars for VA juice I don't even like that crap a very pricey vacation to come here now I will say one thing I pay very high prices for the stuff here but I'm very happy with what I'm getting so yeah. you know thinking about it like a typical restaurant Dinner entree is about forty dollars, and so there is that, and like the taxi to be expensive. But I'll talk about the taxi shops in a bit. But it is just a really kind of expensive place to go, so you do need to know that, okay? And also, my next shot for you is: don't think that the price you see is the actual final price. Now, this goes many different ways, okay? One thing is, if you go to a store, you have the price tag, but you have to realize is they add the sales tax on later, so that's going to increase the price. If you go to a restaurant, you also tip fifteen to twenty percent, so that's going to rate. That's the same thing in the U.S. though. And that's not even fully the full story. See, this is why we need people from here like me representing us. All right, people. Like I said, the, the tourist area, right, how they have it divided, right? Tourist area, what he's talking about, he wants to sit down and eat an expensive, what you expect if you want to sit down and eat an expensive restaurant? Bro, calm down time, eat at homies, you get on plate. I don't care anybody say food tastes better and you get way more food for a cheaper price. But hey, you won't set up inside. Look at that. I ain't even say nothing, you know? I the same. And downtown, if you go inside the store, right? Out of the Grace Bay area, because Grace Bay is tourist area, meaning it's gonna be more expensive. And taxes are high on that side. But if you come onto the opposite side of the island, there's no taxes there. All right, the taxes are already into the prices, so you wouldn't even tell. So whatever price you see, that's what you pay. If you want a damn bag of bananas and a bag of damn bananas come to three dollars and fifty six cents, you have to give the, the cashier three dollars and fifty cents. That's a terrible example I just used, but whatever the, it has on the shelf, like that, 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 that the VA juice, how I say, I think it was like seven ninety eight or whatever it was. You pay in seven ninety eight. Don't mind him. Raise the price, but not at that location. If it was like in the middle, anything out of the Grace Bay area. Though sometimes they put the service charge already on there, so make sure you look and see um, if they have. But also, you might be negotiating. Some of the people you might meet on the beach might offer you tours or a boat ride or something like that, and they'll give you a price. A lot of times you can negotiate those down. I mean, we did that for our con tour, and it was a fantastic experience. We got you know, a lot less than what they originally started at yeah, because that. the people on the beach, they get a commission on the sale, so that's why they're approaching certain stuff. But overall, all the tours are going to be really cool. And again, like I said, prices are high, but they're well worth it. But one of the things that might also shock you about the prices is they actually use the U.S. dollar here in Turks and Caicos, which is really nice. So you hit up the ATM, it just spits out dollars for you. The prices are all in dollars, so there's no try to do the conversion, or it's not like, oh, we have the Turks and, and Caicos money, English. U.S. money, and you can use both. Somewhat. No, it's just the U.S. dollar here. Also, this is the British West Indies, so they actually speak English here as well, which would be shockingly easy for a lot of tourists, especially if you're coming from the U.S. I mean, you don't have to change the language, and you can just use the money in your wallet. That's fantastic. I will warn you, though. Wow. Um, Look at that, yo. Can't get the nowhere else but the Turks to kick his silence. I got the flag in the corner, so I think it's like right here. You can't get that nowhere else, so please, people, come to the Turks to kick us. It's lovely. Their cards are accepted to the restaurants and hotels and stuff like that, but the taxis, maybe not. And I think I should probably tell you the shock about the taxis. And I think I'll put a lot of like driving shots in there while we're at it. The first shock you might have is when you get in that taxi and you ask the price. 
Now, I talked about the sticker price, but the, the shock that sometimes comes with the taxis here is they might give you the price per person for that trip. Because the taxis, they are expensive, and they might be per person. And so also you might be shocked. There might be other people in the taxi when you're going by. Because since you're paying for per person, you've got that one seat. And they can you know, use the other seats out there. Now most of the time, that's not really an issue. The only time I've really, we've had that a lot, is when we're going back and forth to the airport. There might be multiple people in there. So there is that. Um, another thing that might shock you when you're driving here is actually they drive on the left. Yes. That's the former British colony, so they drive on the left. And the thing is, what, what makes it tough is sometimes the cars will have the, the English British system where the, the drivers, you know, the driver is on the right side, but then sometimes they have US cars with the drivers on the left side, which can really throw you off. So just remember, if you're driving or doing a scooter ride or, or on a bike, make sure stay. you stay on the left when you're on the road. Okay, and another thing, people, when you come here, right, it is, I know in some countries, it is illegal to ride your bicycles on the sidewalk, right? It's not illegal here. You, you can ride your bicycles on the sidewalk, right? So please, don't ride in the middle of the road where cars come and please. You don't own the road, all right? We don't own the road. You won't get bumper. You get bumper? All right, that's all I want to ask you. So you can ride your bicycle on the sidewalk. You can jog on the sidewalk. I don't know why. Tell me this why. Why won't you jog on the sidewalk? Okay, I understand the bike part, but, but why would you jog in the middle of the road? Huh? You get, I don't know. You get more, I, I, I don't know. Please. It just, just it helps us out, right? Just know you get <laughs> if you're in the middle of the road jogging, just know you get cussed. <laughs> Somebody cussing you out. Okay, because black or white you get cussed. Driving here and also the speed bumps here will break your back, so definitely slow down for those. Otherwise, you'll get a surprise of whacking your head on the top of the on the top of the car and coming back down. So what you might do with those high prices and the taxi experience, things like that, you might want to look at renting a car when you do come here. And if you're going to be driving around a lot around an island, one specific island, you can just rent it for one day, yeah. and it will be a lot cheaper than taking taxis all around. But we found that you don't really need to do it so much because a lot of times your uh, accommodation, your hotel, your resort, and stuff like that, they'll have their own pool, they'll have a kitchen out there. You can just hit up the grocery store nearby or the, the mini market, bring stuff back there. And you're oh, by the way, this is an app that recently launched in Pro. It's called Concap. It's really affordable. Um, okay. This is not sponsored. This is not sponsored. Concap, if you want sponsor, hit me up anyway. Um, they do a little movement throughout the island. I can't remember the location, but just download the app and figure out what it is. I don't know much about it, you know. So come Kevin, if you want me to know more, hit me up and let's talk. And one trip and email in the description is hitting the beach and what's cool is the beach stuff is a lot of times if you book with your people on the beach they're like oh come back here and we'll meet you here or they'll meet you at your hotel anyway so you don't really need that rental car every day so do check that out and the thing is just to get around all those things you might just look at staying in all inclusive here because they'll pick you up and bring you to the all inclusive and everything will be taken care of so you really don't have to go out and explore too much when you are oh by the way if you have money 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 listen to me people I mean like no little hundred dollars uh two hundred dollars if you have money 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 basically if you're rich and you don't want to be in providenciales you can um rent a villa on the on the i on the key of ambergris key all right that's called ambergris key i can't remember how to spell it it is a m b e r Ambergris. I can't remember. But anyway, Ambergris Key. All right. Once again, that's Ambergris Key, and the resort there is called Caker's Collections. All right. It's all inclusive. So basically, what you do is you fly in on your airline from wherever you're from, come to Providenciales. Um, the company will meet you at the airport. They'll take you on the opposite side of the airport now. Right, on a shuttle. Right on the opposite side, so basically go around the airport, and then you go on another smaller aircraft. By the way, this is not no promotion for Kekas Collections either. So Kekas Collection, if you want me to promote your video too, hit me up. All right, so Kekas Collection, all right? You go on that side, and they will take you from like a little private FBO, private. I mean, yeah, FBO, private FBO, and then they'll fly you over onto a smaller aircraft. Onto the key of Emily's key, and you can spend as much time and it's quiet, all inclusive, right? 
But just make sure you got some money to, you know, it's not cheap. I'm not even gonna cap with you. It's, it's pretty expensive for even Pro Bowl. Are here. Now, I'm not saying don't go explore because there's some awesome stuff here. We went to Iguana Island. We got to see iguanas fighting and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And the water and the snorkeling tours and all this stuff. There's a lot of great things to do. Hey, don't eat iguanas. Do some kayaking or paddle boarding. Your resort or your all inclusive or just your normal resort, they can oh, help God. set you up with those things. So go and do some of those things so you don't have to really think about the transport because also there's no public transportation here. So might as well just chill out your resort yeah, we have and have everything. Yeah, we get public transportation. Your two feet. <laughs> it was more public than that. Based out of there. And my last shot for you when you come to Turks and Caicos is you gotta remember beach, relax, Sorry. repeat. Everybody is on island time when you're here. If you're used to the hustle and bustle and go, 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 you're gonna need to adjust your attitude and your time frame to yeah, Turks well, and Caicos. No okay? rushes. Because, <laughs> sirs, you know, getting your, your drink, getting your order, no getting your bill, getting your taxi, getting your tour set up, all these things, it just goes a little bit slower. Like, no rushes. Know, transport control takes quite a bit of time when you're coming into the country, so, you know, I'm nah, don't, don't, let me hear what he got to say. Don't disrespect my airport, eh? Don't, actually. It's one of our first don'ts of T TCI is don't toddle at the per uh, 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 on your plane because it just takes more time. Okay, so just, if you come with the attitude that, hey, I'm hitting on Relax, it's tranquilo. You want to peak? Hey, you want island time, you know? We ain't rushing, all right? We ain't rushing. Take your time, all right? Take your time. You know, you're gonna be just fine. And the thing is, with all this relaxation and all the really great food when you're here, it's not just conch, by the way. If you're here in season, the lobster's great. They have all kinds of great seafood right season now. when you're here. It's very seafood based and very wonderful. But but you you can't believe how much you really will enjoy this nigga. <laughs> this dude coming with this can't believe again. People, we do not say that. Stop lying to them. Well, no, stop lying. To, yeah, you stop lying to the people. But your time here in Turks and Caicos. I hope this little fun little culture shock one can help you enjoy Turks and Caicos a little bit more. If you want some more serious kind of travel stuff, we've got what you should know before you come to Turks and Caicos. We got a video on the don'ts of Turks and Caicos. We have stuff to what you should pack when you come here because man, you'll be shocked how burned you get when you come here. So make sure you're using that sunblock and the no Sam's. Oh, they will eat you alive. So do have a heads up for those. No Sam's. Anyway, what's that? No Sam's. Oh, what's no Sam's? You'll be shocked how burned you get when you come here, so make sure you're using that sunblock and the no CMs. Oh. Maybe, I feel like what he's trying to say is um, sand flies or mosquitoes. Maybe, I don't know. What, let me know in the comments that it was no CMs. Maybe we just call it something different here. Oh, they will eat you alive, so do have a heads okay, up. Okay, so it's a lot. Anyway, if you want to learn more, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification okay. bell, and we put out honest travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday to help other fellow travel. Everybody, don't forget to hit that like button if you want to find us on other social media. Okay, so all right, yeah, that's about it for him. Um, huh. what else did he said? You know, it, okay, what are you saying about the expensive part? Yeah, we got pricey. I make it sit on the like we ain't. Um, yeah, we, we, we expensive, <laughs> I mean, not, but no, let me say something you pay your money, you get what you pay for. You ever hear about that before? You get what you pay for. Exactly, you know, it's not you no know, mediocre service or half-assed services we, we provide here, no, you know. And just letting you know, this isn't no promotion or any dealings affiliated with the Turkish government or any company in the Turkish government. This is just me sitting down here, a local, reacting to a tourist talking about the Turkish government. And I'm, not just, I'm basically giving you the little cheat codes how to move about on the island, you know what I mean? You know, like he's like I said, book with a company, be careful, um, don't go in that water far out by yourself, all right? Be careful with that, man. And with the airport part, um, honest, the busiest days for us in Church and Islands is Saturday and Sunday. So, you want to be ahead of your time. But not, of course, not right now with all this coronavirus going on. Everything's slow, all right? And yeah, with the, and you guys may be asking about some of the protocols during um, quarantine, not quarantine, coronavirus. We are open, the Turkish Cake is, is open now for all travels worldwide. We are open, letting you know, come. But make sure you have, you have to get tested before you come into Turkish Islands. 
You have to get tested, and your test has to be valid for I think like five days. I think that's what it is before you come. Anyway, you have to take your test and upload it to a system we have. Um, I think it's health system. I'm not too sure. Do more research on it. Don't take my word for it for that part. And then they will give you the approval saying, hey, you have uh, approval to enter the church and get exams. All right. If you do not get that email stating that you confirm that you are allowed to enter the church to kick his islands, don't waste your time going to the airport. They're not, gonna, they're not even going to allow you to check in. You're going to have to provide that. That's just as important as your passport right now. All right. Take your test, get your confirmation, you know, and you'll be set. When you, when you enter the church in Kings Islands, they check your temperature. If your temperature is too high, buddy, just know you're getting pulled to the side and either the test you on the spot, if you're tested positive, you got to go back home. This is, we're sending you back home. All right? That's just how it is. We were live 2020, hey? We're living like this now in 2020, all right? But if you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe, comment all that good stuff down below in the comment section. Oh, maybe you might be asking, oh, what if I'm, I'm from a different country? What is the passport? Um... U.S. citizens, you don't have to worry about it. We accept your passport already has visas. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, CARICOM countries, which is countries throughout the Caribbean, I don't think you need a visa. UK passport, United Kingdom, Euro I mean European Union, you don't have to worry about it because we're a British overseas territory. So you guys are basically not citizens, but well, that's a lot of spit on my lip. But you can enter your passport with your passport, all right? But with that being said, if you want to find more, Google the Church of Caicos uh, Tourism Board website. You'll have more information provided. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know if you want me to react to his part where he said the Church of Caicos do's and don'ts. I never saw that one. Let me know if you want to see it. With that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. And remember, the world is yours. Peace.